2008 Unibody MacBook trackpad replacement. Make sure that the MacBook is shut down and let's start off by flipping it over. Press in the battery cover latch and remove the panel. Next remove the battery. There are 8 screws that are holding in the bottom case panel. We'll start off by removing the top 4 screws. The first screw is the short screw and the next 3 screws are long screws. On the bottom of the panel there are 4 distinctly small screws. Let's go ahead and remove those and that will release the bottom panel. Once the 8 screws have been removed that are holding down the panel, gently grip it up in the top and remove it out of the way. Let's start off by removing the two Phillips head screws that are holding the plastic input cable shield. Now that we have access to the trackpad cable that connects to the logic board, go ahead and pry that connection apart. Let's switch to our Y1 tri-wing screwdriver. We'll be removing the six tri-wing screws that are holding down the trackpad to the lower body of the MacBook. Now we can gently lift the MacBook open and carefully remove the trackpad. Take the new trackpad and gently swift the trackpad cable through the trackpad hole. Use a pair of tweezers to carefully work the trackpad connection cable up and over on top of the logic board. Reconnect the trackpad cable to the logic board. Reconnect two Y1 tri-wing screws, one on each side of the trackpad. Adjust the trackpad so that it is centered and the left crack is not wider than the right crack. Now reconnect the other four Y1 screws. Place back the plastic I.O. shield. Switch your screwdrivers back to a Phillips head screwdriver bit and screw in the I.O. shield with two Phillips head screws. Place the bottom case panel in the same manner that it was removed, gently pressing down on it making sure that no cable connections are being pinched off. Reinstall the top four screws starting with the shorter top left screw and next the three longer screws. Now reinstall the four smaller bottom screws for the panel. This will finish attaching the panel.
place the battery back into its socket. Now place the battery cover on top. Make sure to use the battery cover latch to firmly lock it in place. 